friends, it is the 4th of July. So today for science and tech, we're gonna make Star Spangled Play-Doh. I always make sure that I print my lesson plan and have all of my materials ready so I'm not searching for them at the last minute. Okay, so as we're doing the lesson, I'm gonna be talking to my students about all of the things we're observing and all of the things we're doing. So in the beginning, when I show them all the materials, we talk about the water. Is it a liquid or is it a solid? How many cups of water do you think we need? How many cups of flour? Now, normally if I had students in the classroom with me, I would have them pouring the water and I would have them adding the food coloring. If it, they get messed up, it's okay. It's just materials. We can start over and mistakes are how we learn. When we add the food coloring here, I ask them, what do you see happening? All right, here's the flour. Is it a liquid or is it a solid? What do you think is going to happen when we add this solid into our bowl? A lot of guesses are going to be completely random and that's okay. We're building vocabulary and we're observing the change in matter from liquid to solid. I love that I make mistakes with my kids all the time because it shows them that accidents happen. We count how many cups of flour, we count how much salt, and I ran out of salt here. There was like supposed to be a cup and a half and there wasn't quite a cup and a half, but that's okay. We just rolled with it. And you may have to adjust your recipe. My recipe called for four cups of flour. I definitely needed more because it was super soupy. Now, when we're mixing, generally, I have the kids get their hands in and mix themselves. But of course, I'm doing this for TikTok, so I had to do it myself. Now, here comes my favorite part, glitter. There is never, ever in my life enough sparkle. So I tend to be really heavy handed with the glitter. Use as much as you like. And especially if you're in a preschool classroom, really, there's never enough. Again, you wanna make sure you're letting your kids add the glitter, add the salt, add the water, add the oil. I do add the oil here because it helps the glitter to distribute through the Play-Doh, but it's not entirely necessary. It's all up to you. Again, let them get their hands in, let them do this all by themselves. Give it a good stir, and then you have Star Spangled Play-Doh. Repeat this with red and white, 